He'll be eight years old at the end of this month. He was born and raised at my place. I raised him from a baby calf. You know, they have the breeding behind them to be a bucking bull. You train them and teach them to stand in the chute properly and, and do the things they're supposed to, but you can't necessarily train one to buck. Uh, you know, most of them have acreage and pasture that they can be turned out on. A lot of them, like Mickey stays in a huge area. It's kind of an arena type thing, but he said during, when he's during the bucking season and stuff, he pretty much stays in the arena. There's a barn and things built there for him to get under for shelter, rain, cold, hot. He's a bull that likes to play in the sand. We keep a sand pile piled up for him all the time because he loves to play in the sand. Life is good for the bulls. Pretty much has all the hay that he wants to eat. He eats 15 pounds of grain a day. Uh, top quality bull feed. You know, feed, food feed that is formulated for bulls, for bucking bulls. A bucking bull is not like you have a show horse that you, you know, you travel for hours on the highway and you can stop at a roadside park and take them out and walk them around or whatever. A bucking bull is not that way. And you pretty much have to travel to the point that, you know, where there's places that you can lay over with bucking bulls. Like, it, like for instance, here is a, a, a sales barn, you know, a sale barn. These, these bulls are housed well. PBR makes sure that the housing is nice for these bulls. The travels in, it's an aluminum trailer. It does have padding um, mats in it that are rubber mats that are probably an inch thick or so. And then they put shavings in there on top of that to, to, for extra padding. Most bulls, some bulls will actually have a compartment big enough in their trailer they can lay down if they want to. Mickey, Mickey never lays down. He could if he wanted to, he doesn't want to. You know, he just, uh, he's just that kind of bull. He's gonna, he's gonna, that's the way he travels. And not, not any two of them is ever the same. They have that option if they want to, but just some, he's not, he's up, he's gonna see what's going on around him. When you have a truck and trailer hooked up and he sees you, he's standing there waiting for you to open the gate and he runs straight to that trailer and jumps in it. You don't ever have to make him get in the trailer. And if you hook up and you happen to leave with a load of bulls and he's not in it, he's not a happy bull. He is bellering and he is wanting to know why he's not going. The basic care is just uh, annual vaccinations. They have to be TB and brucellosis tested before they can go on the road to make sure they're negative for those diseases. Th those are pretty much the veterinarian care for them. You know, you want to keep them parasite free. So it's, that's pretty much it. And not all bulls have to have their hooves trimmed, but he's a particular bull that has a little bit of feet problems and he just gets a pedicure every six weeks so that, that they're taken care of. He is actually the only one that I have that's in, that's performing. He's on the road and going down the road. Uh, he is my first one. Um, I have some babies out of him. I have some two-year-olds and three-year-olds that are coming up that we'll start working with and seeing what we got. Uh, I've been very blessed and to have him. The chances of having another one, I don't know, could be very slim to none. But if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it's, it's been great. I wouldn't trade anything for it. The well-being of the bulls is important to the PBR also, and they want to make sure that they're taken care of. He'll come home, he'll get retired, and he'll come home, be turned out to be a bull, and live. he'll live his life out at my house. I, I will never sell him. I never will. Um, he, um, I hope, to, I hope to have another one. I hope to be to the point that I have another one. I won't be greedy. I'd, I'd love to have another one just like him, but I, if I get one half as good as him, that's great. You know, I won't be greedy about it. It's been a great thing. You know, I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't change anything about it. It wasn't intentional for me to do this, but it happened to me. It's been a great ride. I wouldn't have taken, trade anything for this.